Hello everyone, in this video we'll use the method I showcased in a previous video on Unreal Engine weight transfers to transfer skin weights into this scape to get it to be simulated and also following the metahuman body and I'll also explain how to fix issues like this. So let's jump straight into it. So this is a static mesh so that means that we could use sculpting tools because if I push this further back honestly we get the problem here at the front so we gotta choose our poison in this case if i go all the way back here i might need to pull a lot from the front and i'd rather the front be sitting pretty and then fix the back so what i'll do is i'll zero it out and that works as it is zeroed out and i'll simply go into the modeling tools remember this is a static mesh i am going to go into the form and i am going to go into vertex sculpt i am simply going to do move and with move selected here, I am going to very gently pull on the geometry so we get the geometry to match the metahuman back in this case. So we're going to gently, very, very gently pull on the geometry. Remember that modeling tools are destructive. That means that as we change this, you may want to keep a safe copy of your original so it doesn't destroy the original unless you don't care and you're just simply going to use the cape on this very one metahuman. We're going to call down shift to soften some of those and then we're going to hit accept. And there we are. So that's just simply Nanite doing Nanite things. Uh, not Nanite, I'm sorry, LOD is doing all these things. We can just simply go into the static mesh itself, enable Nanite support, apply changes. We're going to save. And that means that now Nanite is going to take care of everything and we're not going to get LODs. So we have our static mesh fixed. Now this static mesh, we need it to be part of our metahuman. We need it to be simulated. So let's go ahead and do that as we find it in our content browser. We're going to right click on it. We're going to convert the scale to mesh. We're going to choose our newest finding in uh, our previous video. I explained where to get this guys, which are full body metahumans. The neck is sawed to the body, which is great. So we're going to use a normal weight because that's the one this particular metahuman is using. We're going to simply convert. So now that we converted, we have this guy here. We're going to go into it very quickly. Nothing is happening here related to weight because we haven't transferred the weights as I explained in a previous video. So I'm going to do it lightning fast. We're going to go skin, edit weights. Down here, we're going to choose the same one we were just using for our... Um, creation of the skeletal mesh, normal body, mocap, there we go, perfect. Then we click transfer weights and then we hit accept. That means that now we have weights. Awesome, but that's not all because we have weights, but we don't have simulation. So final step here, we are going to add clothing. So this panel, if you don't have it, simply go to window and find clothing down here. It's this panel here. And what we need to do is right click on the piece of cloth that we're gonna be creating or using. We're going to rename this to something simpler. We don't need to know the color of it. And here in the physics asset, we are going to be using something called for cloth. So you'll be using this physics asset. We're going, you can change it at any point in time and you can remove it. So in this case, we can use for cloth or we could even use just the normal preview body uh, metahuman. So it's M underscore med normal weight physics. So we're going to use this one in this particular case. So create. And nothing happens yet, but we can do now is by selecting our clothing up here, we can activate cloth paint. And in here it behaves very similarly uh, to what we've been using with weight painting. So we just need to paint what we want to be simulated. So I'm going to go down here and move this up to 50. Now the value of the paint is at 100, so I'll do this. And then I'll simply switch the brush up here in cloth painting from brush. To smooth and then we're gonna lower this to 20 and we're just simply going to smooth out this I'm gonna leave it at that so we're gonna deactivate cloth painting which is gonna switch back to storing all the data here one final step we right click and we apply clothing data now it's been simulated which is great so that's all, that's all we've done. If you wanna go deeper into the customization, we have configuration and cloth configuration. And here is where we can tell the material properties, the stiffness, the collision properties, um, the mass properties, so density, how much drag, how much heavy, heavier than what it, look, uh, what it looks like right now it is. 
So all of the properties are down here, pretty much the same properties that we worked with on my previous video on chaos clothing, but this is clothing for a skeletal mesh. It's very, very different. So now that we have that, we can get rid of the static mesh. We can bring the Skelly mesh into the world. Again, we can confirm that it looks exactly the same, but let's add it to our MetaHuman. So with it selected, we are going to edit the blueprint of our MetaHuman here. And while clicking on the body, so MetaHuman, so Unreal already adds it to the, the body. We're going to type Skeletal Mesh. Since we have the cloak selected, Unreal will already notice that and will guess that we may want to add the clock, the cloak. As we see, it works. It's in the exact perfect position. Remember, as I showcased in a previous video, construction script, we do need to add the cloak as a new uh, children or target for the set leader pose component, which is the body. So the new leader is the body. The hood, the robe, and the cloak are all of them doing the same thing. They are following the body of the metahuman, which is in this case the hands. So we're going to compile. We're going to save. And now that we have this, we have a second cloak, we can get rid of this one. And since it's following the body, that means that if I were to create any new cinematic in our sequencer, that means that now the cloak will follow. Now you're obviously noticing a couple of issues here. That means that there is no simulation because we are not simulating. So as we simulate, lo and behold, we have the cape doing cape things. It is going through the other piece of cloth because it's not colliding with it. It's a different piece of cloth. What we need to work with is making sure that the collider that is using for the metahuman body is working. And in this case, we can see that there is some collision on the cloak here with the metahuman body. We can see that it is clearly bending out. We could still work with the collision settings in our cloak itself um, to figure out the any issues that we may have or enhance that collision but that's gonna come on your own time since it's customization of this cloth i just want to share the process with you guys and you can see that it is working that's perfectly lovely let's get rid of the uh, visibility of our robe so you guys can see that it is in fact colliding with the legs so it's gonna go robe we're gonna go visibility and let's get rid of it for now now we'll see that it is colliding with yeah, the metahuman. And that's it. So this was how to add clothing simulations to a skeletal mesh without using chaos cloth systems. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.